What's up guys, War here, welcome back to the channel. So today we are going over a very big game that has been added to our channel courtesy of all of my wonderful community. They voted on this and this is the last epoch, okay? Or epoch, epoch, I think you can say it both ways, but so we all have been having huge withdrawals from the Diablo 4 beta and we're very very excited to play it in just two months away so my chat was very dull with Diablo 3 and we're still going to be doing Diablo 3 for you guys but we wanted to go over and play a new game they kept asking me and asking me and asking me about have I played the last epoch and I just haven't I haven't heard of it so we checked it out my chat convinced me to get it and they've been in full support and it's been an amazing experience playing this game so we played about 25 hours of the game now last epoch is a time traveling arpg where you're based in this you know end of time world where you're able to go fight monsters you're able to do monoliths and dungeons you're able to craft a bunch of weapons and do all these things and build and have just an insane amount of build characters and it's been really really fun to play so today's video is going to be all about my review of this game because i know my community and people are wondering so first things first is that uh, 11th hour games is the creator of uh the last epoch they have been in development since 2018 i believe 2019 and there's been a lot of updates and stuff and with the community it's about 35 dollars on steam to play the game which is actually really good it goes to help out uh 11th hour so big shout out to 11 hour i mean full support i absolutely love this game so uh let's go over a couple things first and just kind of i'll just share with you guys my experience uh within a last epoch which is just uh really really cool so when you uh, first get into this game, right? You first get into this game, you're at this main screen. It's really, really cool. I already have one character, he's level 57, but let's take a look at all the different classes. So Last Epoch has five classes, which I find really, really cool. Uh, now the art style of the game is a little different. Like here it looks kind of bland, even with some of the characters, they look really weird. Like the Beastmaster just doesn't look as good as the Necro, but let's go over each character real quick. So right here you have a Sentinel is your base class. This is like your holy, holy character slash like it's like a barbarian meets the crusader type of deal in here. And then you have a couple masters here with Void Knight and Forge Guard, which just allow you to break into different things. So you have a base class here. And then as you progress through the game and level up, you get to master into one of these two. Now there is Paladin, right? So this one I think is the only class that has access to all three. There's going to be some that we don't have access to. But your base class is going to be the Sentinel, and then you kind of just go into these other ones. Next, we have the Rogue, which is what I'm playing. Uh, so you start off as a Rogue, and you go into a Blade Master, which is more melee based, and then you can go into a Marksman, which is more ranged based, and then you have a Falconer, which we don't have access to yet. Hopefully, we will in the full release. It shouldn't be too far away, I hope. So uh, this is your standard like Demon Hunter esque, you know your your DPS based class. The Rogue I'm have been having an absolute blast with it. So the Rogue is very very strong. So then we come over here. We have our Mage, which is our Sorcerer Wizard class of the game. It's really really cool. You get a Mage. You have to go Sorcerer, which is just more based on using certain elements. And then you have like the Spell Blade, which is cool for using like imbuing weapons and uh, using spells like that to be able to do a lot of damage. It's actually a really, really cool um, class. And then you have Rune Master, which we don't have access to. So the Mage is actually a very powerful class in Last Epoch. It's very, very cool. Then you have what looks to be our Barbarian, but it's our Primalist. You get to go in. This is basically your your uh, Druid-esque build of the game, where you're like a Barbarian slash Druid. So you get Beastmaster, where you get to command a bunch of pets and really cool things like raptors and then you get bears and saber tooths and scorpions it's actually a really really cool build my community wanted me to start with this one first and i just didn't i played rogue because it's like to me it seems very similar to the rogue that i'm going to play in diablo 4 so and then you have a shaman which is just really cool this eggs on more of like a shaman from wow is what i found you know with certain elements and totems and stuff like that so it re resembles that a little bit which is really cool and then you have of course a full-on druid which is just your full shapeshifter class which this one is really really cool and powerful and then of course in our last class what arpg wouldn't be equipped without some kind of undead summoner so we have the Acolyte, which is your base class, which is just your Necromancer and Mastery and Lich. 
both of these the lich is really cool you like basically are the witch king from lord of the rings which is really cool and then you have the necromancers which is more of your minions base right you got wraiths skeletal mages abominations all kinds of cool stuff and then you get to be in a reaper form the whole time with lich so necromancer is a real or acolyte is a very 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 cool class next up is i want to talk about the skill system in the game so this is what i think a a bridge between Diablo and Path of Exile, which is just really cool. So as you can see here, there's a lot on the screen, but I'm gonna break it down and make it very easy. So you have your base skills here, which are really cool, and you're gonna earn these no matter what. And then once you reach level 25, you're gonna be able to pick your mastery, which would be out of the three, but with Rogue, I either get Marksman or Blade Dancer. And then whichever mastery you pick, you get four new classes as you level up. So you get access to all these, and then these skills down here are unlocked by spending points in your passive tree, which we'll go over next. So you get access to all these skills. Now you may ask yourself, well, why is there only five up here? So you have all your skills, and then you have five specializations that you can take, which is why you see these down here on my skill bar. So you have five specializations, and each one has a humongous skill tree that you're able to go in and customize each skill individually to what to cater whatever build that you're playing which i find to be very very cool it's like one of my favorite things about this game so far next thing after our skills here you have passives which are really cool now what i do like is whichever class you mastery in like i mastered uh blade dancer so i get access to all these skills or all these points or should i say passive skills but then in marksman i can take up to the first half of skills and marksman so you could still do some kind of marksman builds or half builds or just cool things so i thought that was really really cool now as you're leveling up you're going to earn points and it's pretty simple right you put points in and then this bar is going to move as you gain more points and then as the bar moves it's going to unlock more skills so to get to this you have to have a certain amount of skills unlocked or points invested to access the other ones so the passive system again is very very unique there's a lot of passives there's so many different ways to build your characters i think it's a very very cool thing so uh one thing that i do want to do for you guys real quick is just showcase my build so it's very cool we do a lot of damage in this build and it's just very very fun it's just a super kill cool build super cool build we're very very fast we do a lot of dps the build is just very strong very strong look how strong we are we just dominate everything about the like about the you know fighting monsters like look at look at our damage output um next is our quest guys so we have a lot of quests here in the game uh this is kind of like your mmo uh added part um quests and stuff in arpgs aren't really too crazy a lot of it is just kind of like go here do this go grab this item take it here pick collect this item and go there so it's very simple stuff or like defeat a certain boss you know or something like that um you know search for you know characters and npcs and stuff so the campaign and the quests and side quests in the game they're not like irrelevant because they do give you a lot of exp and they give you passive points and and stuff but it's just very minute you could really just play this game and just never do that stuff but uh the campaign is very simple it's it's not too crazy i think it's it, it's just fine right it's just fine uh next thing that i want to talk about is our items in the game so in last epoch there's a bunch of different items and you can see we found some here on the on the ground and our gear pieces so we have head chest weapons belt rings amulet a relic uh, boots and gloves we have no pants sorry guys it's all here in our chest piece or our excuse me our full body armor then we have idols which are something that kind of resembles like the uh, i can't remember what they're called from diablo 2 but it's similar to that where we have an idol system here where we can get additional abilities and effects so that's really cool another really cool thing about this game is the forging or crafting aspect of the game so in here you're allowed to take weapons and add your prefixes or suffixes add onto them. So I could add crit multiplier on here and you could just add it. Uh, you could take these away. You can make up brand new ones. Uh, it all goes from forging potential. So each time you try to add or take something away, there's a chance that 
forging um, is taken away, which is really cool. So you're at, you're able to customize your weapons to your builds for just having a most optimized build and being the strongest that you can. So the crafting system in this game is to me far superior than to like Diablo. And then it's, I don't think it's as good as maybe in POE, let's say, but the crafting system in this game is very, very, very good. So in the end game, you have a couple different things that you can do. You can do dungeons, you can do um, monoliths, uh, which I can't see here. I guess my map isn't working. There we go. I guess my map is not working. Uh, but you can do dungeons, monoliths, and empowered monoliths. So think about it like this. You have dungeons compared to Diablo 3, which are normal rifts. Then you have monoliths, which are greater rifts. And then you have empowered monoliths, which are empowered greater rifts. I think all in all, this game is a 7 out of 10. And I think if you absolutely love Path of Exile, Diablo, um, Diablo 2, II, Diablo 3, any of the other ARPGs, those are the two biggest ones that I always compare this to because it's like it's like you took both of those and made this baby and it's just amazing. Now, I will say, guys, once Diablo 4 comes out, that's it. We're on Diablo 4. But this is a very good uh, <laughs> game to fill the void uh, that we have since Diablo 4 left for the beta weekend. So like the video if you guys have enjoyed it comment down below what, what do you guys think of last epoch and your opinions and stuff on it let me know what you guys think and as always stay gaming i'll catch you guys in the next one peace